Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here back with more of our Forza Horizon 5 weekly thoughts that I'm here for the storm season. Of course if you missed out on yesterday's video where we sort of went back in and started off the storm season definitely recommend you go back and check it out but today though we're going to be doing the weekly thoughts of on in this. This of course is the VW Baja buggy for this one today. Now what have we got to do? So we've got to obviously own the car of course already doing that. Uh, we've got to earn 500,000 skill score so we might need to use a couple of perks for that one. Uh, we've got to score international take it and win three cross country events and a total of 12 stars from Trailblazers. So this one is going to be a big old challenge week. I think what we're going to do is we're going to build it up in sort of like a B or an A class specialist off-roader. So let's head over to the garage and see what's doable. Right, so let's see what upgrades and options are available then on this car. I'm sure there's going to be... Oh, no, no cosmetics at all. That's rather surprising. Um, is it four-wheel drive? No, it's not originally all-wheel drive. So we're straight off the bat going to do that to it. Now, do I want to put a better engine in it? That's the real question. We've got a 2 litre F4 turbo. Sounds sounds pretty juicy. A 2.4 turbo rally. It's got a bit more poke to it. And then a 4 litre flat 6. That that engine comes straight out of a Porsche, but um, I fancy putting the rally one in. Obviously, just gives it a huge amount of power and performance 250 extra so 330 brake horsepower straight off the bat so that's going to be pretty handy to have of course already got some pretty good tires on it but we want 265s on the front and what well, yeah 265s on the rear here and then i think obviously we just really need to focus on sort of platform and handling there 24 percent better efficiency with the upgrades there. Uh, transmission, no, the stock one should be all right, I think. Driveline, yeah, we'll want one of those. And the off-road diff as well. So this thing, yeah, pretty much at the top of B-Class already. Not many more upgrades that we can do to it, but we should be able to get it right up towards 700 PI. Or apparently not. 201 extra horsepower if we do that to the thing. Are there any more upgrades we can do in here. Uh, Off-road tyres, that takes it way up in towards A-class there, so don't think we can really do those. Um, any better rims or anything like that just to try and bring the PI up? Uh, 692. It's going to be quite difficult to try and get this thing right to the top of B-class, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we're all 691. Rears really sometimes do it now. So there we go, 692 PI then for the Beetle. As always, I'll make sure I upload the tune to the storefront, but not a fan of the rims, I'll be honest, but they're, they're going to have to do, as this thing this thing sounds angry. Right, so the tune then is on the car. Let's see if there's anything worth having in terms of skill points. 15% more from combos. Skill chain ends one second later. Record skills 10%. We'll take 10 grand as well. We'll take some forts on points. Uh, it's probably worth having the extra life one as well, because we know what I'm like on this game and then 20 percent more skill scores as well from air um could go with a wheel spin but we're not gonna bother with that at the moment so yeah we're gonna try and just get this thing up to that half a million then so you had to do quite a few of these recently of half a million scores but i think this thing the key is just going to be take it off-roading and we should be able to complete quite a few of these challenges there um we just gotta try and keep the chain alive as well of course the most important thing come on oh I mean, it's, it's got the power just to light up the rear wheels, and that's the most important thing. I've moved the brake bias back, um, everything like that. Obviously, the power's gone towards the rear as well, you know, trying to help it off-roading. Obviously, you know, Forza Horizon 5 seems to have a lot of understeer as a game in general, so not too sure what that's all about, but we're trying to tune it out of a lot of our cars uh, generally as best as possible here. But yeah, of course, we need 100k and a 5 times multiplier for this one. Well, get down the gears. And yeah, I think just by getting combos, and I think, yeah, I'm trying to slowly sort of head towards the off-road part, because I feel that's going to be key uh, for this thing. going to really be its natural habitat. Slowly learning the map on this game. Slowly, slowly, but surely. But yeah, fingers crossed once we get there, obviously, we can try and get it up towards that 100k. Bank the chain in one go, of course, is always the most important thing. Oh my god! <laughs> that was pretty good! I don't know how I accidentally hit that one, but we'll, we'll take it rather happily. Uh, but yeah, almost halfway there, though, on the skills score. And you can see we're pretty much now at the off-road part. I'm 
just claim some extra signs where we can. Or not, apparently. Yeah, this thing's rather good fun to sort of just chuck around. I'm intrigued to see how it's going to fare actually when we take it racing. But it's pretty responsive, which is obviously the most important thing. Just got to try and keep the chain alive. Nice if you could get sort of like a six or a seven times multiplier on this thing, but it doesn't look possible. Oh, don't hit that. Oh, no, there we go. I keep forgetting what's solid and what isn't on this game, so that's alright. But yeah, 5k away though from the ultimate goal. We're pretty much there in the one skill chain as well. You know, I like to play this risky here on Horizon 5 as we'll go for a nice little 360 over the top of that little crest. But yeah, I mean, this thing, yeah, it's pretty fun. Sort of chuck around. And that should be it, pretty much. No, we're going to be a couple of hundred off. Don't say we're not going to miss out. 498k! Oh, dearie me, we need a 1,000 skill chain as well. We're going to get a nice 10 skill points, which will help us out. Um, yeah, we, th there we go. That, that should be it now. 2,700. There we go. So there we go. That challenge is now complete. I can't believe I failed that first time round, but now we've got to try and do three cross-country series events in this thing. Um, that that should be pretty plausible, but not too sure where we're going. I ideally want to do three different ones if possible, as that scramble, that's cross-country. Uh, we'll try and do like one or two laps, I suppose, of each one. Right, come on then. Let's put the Baja buggy through its real test then. The Baja cross-country circuit, I mean, they're, they're kind of a match made in heaven, surely. It's pretty much just us and Beatles, though, for this one. So wait and see sort of what everyone's rocking. Because again, obviously we I think we're gonna have a lot more power than everyone else. The A the driver tiles don't tend to do conversions unless they absolutely have to. So I would have thought they'd probably put like really good tires and things like that on, but that's kind of irrelevant when you've got no power still. Ooh, ah, he says, getting out of shape. Yeah, I think think tires are a bit more relevant there. I've kind of kind of carved myself immediately. Anyway, it's, it's not over until it's over, though. And again, I think we've definitely got a much quicker car than everyone else around us. So let's just make sure, obviously, we can still do this. Now, I mean, we're a little way back, but that's fine. Right, coming towards the end, then, of lap one. We've basically caught up to the rear of the field, then. So we're definitely not out of this just yet. So you head around the final corner. Ooh, that's, that's not quite what you wanted to do. If we could get it around that angle you'd probably be all right there but no it's it's just not working for me um yeah struggling struggling a bit today on horizon you can tell i'm a bit rusty i haven't played this game in a few days there we go that's a lot more of what we wanted to see through that final turn but now we've got to try and muscle our way back through the running order as well of course second half this track really does play into our car's characteristics i.e it's a lot of straight lines and very very fast sections of road but yeah, weird that it's just Beatles and Bajas. I mean, even then we're Bajas as well, but obviously pretty much every other sort of extreme off-road car and things like that are either A or like S1 even. For a few of the really top ones, like, you know, the Funko and things like that. Uh, so the A, the driver tiles can up downgrade their cars, if you will. Obviously there are ways sometimes you can get cars into a lower PI class. Uh, you know, sometimes engine swap trickery, you know, no tyres, things like that. Back on the older Horizon games, I remember Horizon 2, uh, Ferrari California, you hear it doing 260 miles an hour in B-Class, just because obviously the old tyres on it just meant it was actually going worse and worse. But anyway, yeah, we're inside the top eight, but leaders are still a little way at the road, as you can see now. A mighty flat, uh, flat four engine, isn't it, in this thing at the moment. It's starting to come into its own a bit more, as we've just got to try and keep it pointing in the right direction. We haven't got long to go, and the leaders are still a good few seconds up the road. Oh, I think uh, I've clicked the wrong button. I think I think we might have to go for a restart on this one. I'll be honest, it's not looking promising. All right, attempt two then. Here at this first race of the day. Just, you know, I think we've clearly got a lot of pace in the car, but I just don't think we gave ourselves enough time to get back to the front now. I probably should have just sorted out the mistake when it happened, but... Still, let's just try. I mean, now we're just going to get to the front immediately, aren't we? I can just tell how this is going to go. We're going to get right to the front pretty quickly and then just dominate this race second time round. There we go, up into second place. Take a lot out of this quarter. Obviously, costs you the run down the straight, but 
don't think we're really going to worry about losing momentum off the corner because, again, we can just fly past everyone pretty much immediately here. It's over the big jump we go. A little bit of contact. That would have been a really nasty crash of real life if the wheels locked together. But we're on to the lead then. We're, we're missing checkpoints still. Uh, but we should now, yeah, just be able to walk away with this one. I generally think this is one of my favourite little tracks to race so far on Horizon 5. And we are now pulling away on the rest of the group, which is obviously even more important. But yeah, in towards fun a couple of corners though. Now we're starting to get to grips with this thing. It's a bit like that dodge we drove last week. Now once we sort of get into a good rhythm with it, we're actually alright. But it's just trying to get used to it, learning the car, learning what it can and can't do early on that I'm still obviously struggling with just a little bit. It's around the final corner. Thread the needle. Down towards the line. First win on the board. Right, race two then of the day here at the La Dunas Cross Country. This one we're heading off the side of the volcano, so I'm hoping top end speed is really going to come in clutch here. And let's just wait and see. I think gravity is going to come in clutch as well in this one, but we've won the Baja Cross Country Circuit. We're unlocking more and more Sort of getting closer and closer to the final challenge we need on Horizon 5. But the Wild and Tough Complete Festival playlist. No idea what's now all flashing up on the screen. But 170 miles an hour. 180 on the red limiter. And we are, again, straight up into the lead then of the second race of the day there. Nice triple pass. Nice skill chain as well. We're getting more and more random bits and pieces unlocked. No idea what the game is doing. But, yeah, I mean, that's an exciting start to this race. Now we've got to try and get it all stopped and yeah I mean we're, we're straight up into the lead though of race two and the guys behind hopefully won't have much to say about it now still not 100% sure where well, the AI seem to find all their grip through the corners I know we certainly haven't got the best handling car in this championship but yeah some of the lines they're able to maintain through some of the corners is kind of still a bit ridiculous I know a lot of people I've seen complain about this on various forums online as well but big big jump over a June almost landing on top of one of the other Bajas but come on just a couple more corners to go this stage we've been able to put the power down nicely there we're gonna have one more big jump by the looks of it got one more corner to navigate then and there we go we should be pretty good around the final corner we give ourselves a nice wide run in avoid the puddles oh don't do that don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. There we go. That was fine. There was, there was no panic from me there. That was easy, easy wins. What what on earth was the gap at the end of that one? It was... Come on, Forza. Um, what one-tenth of a second? It was always, no, no doubt about it. Right, last one then, and this is the El Den Sensor Cross Country. So again, we're, we're heading down the other side of the volcano here you know just just to keep it consistent on the channel but yeah let's just see what we can do then we've already won two out of the three again we should be able to get right towards the front straight off the bat here if this is a huge drop off the volcano let's just wait and see yep looks like it is so straight into sick gear thought these guys gonna be very himself the red limiter gonna try and thread the needle we'll give him a little bit of a push as well but there we go. Straight up into the lead one final time. I do love the fact there's so many races where you just seem to get chucked off the side there. You don't really get that sort of like in the older Horizon games. Obviously in like Storm Island, uh, Blizzard Mountain, Fortune Island, things like that, you would a bit more. But not generally sort of like the normal game. Because we're just going to head straight across all of this terrain. And I mean, yeah, this is high speed cross country racing so far. We've got, a, we've got into the lead nice and early again. I said it last time around that we were hoping the others wouldn't be able to get much of a look in. But another nice long straightaway here. We might really not get much of a chance this time around. So we're going to head over a nice big jump as well. I feel like, yeah, the, the, the tracks get better and better with each of the Horizon games there. So we head ooh, off into the water. That's all right. Already over 50% completed of this final, hopefully the final race of the day. It's basically like doing a normal championship within the festival playlist to be fair as we try and clip our apexes all nicely seems pretty flat though when it comes to landing you know it's kind of what it's designed for as well but i think the little setup tweaks we've made have certainly helped a lot because i can't help but feel just how unpredictable this thing could have been had you know obviously a lot more of the power than going to the front end you know had it been a lot more understeery in a lot of places it really is just yeah trying to trying to make sure you get it 
point in sliding through apexes like that. See, when we get used to a car, we're pretty good. It's just trying to get used to it. It takes me sort of a good two, three races. Just now getting everything all nailed in. But anyway, yeah, not too far to go of this final race. Just trying to keep it all composed. This will be the way the AI and the driver tars are a little bit quicker, but they're not going to get a look in this time round. And finally, we've kind of given this Baja buggy sort of the proper sending off that it needed. Of course, we've still got to try and do the Trailblazer gates as well. But that's going to be three race wins, which is exactly what we needed for challenge number three. And there we go. Right, so we've got the three wins that we needed then. So now we just need to try and go through and get the three or the 12 Trailblazer stars. So effectively, we need four three-star runs here. Going to try and do ones I haven't done before, of course. Just slowly trying to complete random side projects on the game as well as I'm pretty certain this one is pretty much yeah just two kilometers straight in front of us no I no idea what we need for the three stars not convinced to be honest that a b-class car uh, might not be capable of doing this as well but we'll certainly give it our best shot again obviously this thing you're pretty much going uh, as the crow flies but I might just need to give it a lot more power just to make these ones a little bit easier for us but we'll see how close we get on this first one of the day. Again, it's a lot of just trying to go straight to places, but again, sort of trying to pick the best route as well. But I mean, we've still got, yeah, over 30 seconds left on the clock. Is it a bridge? Yeah, it is a bridge. We just about land on there nicely. And a few more corners to go. If we can finish with over 20, 20 seconds, that'd be pretty good. 23, 22.9, and there we go. That was two stars, I think. Uh, but not quite the three. How many more seconds did we need? Um, does, doesn't want to tell me, apparently. How many more seconds did we need left on the clock? We needed 25 seconds, so about another two. I think, yeah, we'll just slap on a load of upgrades and try to just grind these last few out. Right, so this is what happens when you max out a Baja buggy. They're nearly 1,000 horsepower, weighs 1,100 kilos. This thing is going to be a bit fast, I think. And a bit unpredictable as well. Might, might need a few more rewinds for this one. Might also want to stick a bit closer to the road, but... It's bouncing along. That's alright. Just trying to keep it roughly in the right direction. Again, 25 seconds we need on the clock for this one. And it's probably going to not be that much quicker than the last one we did. Just due to the nature of the unpredictability now of the beast. Can we get away with having to reverse out of there, or will we need to use a rewind? going to be... Yeah, I think probably needed the rewind. Yeah, just... I mean, you need a pretty much perfect run anyway, but I think we're, we're trying to push it on a 30-second trailblazer to make a mistake and still reverse away from it. One more rewind. Ooh, one more, I think. Probably want to be heading to the right of the guardrail. We'll avoid a lot more of these trees. There we go. That's That's a lot better. So yeah, I mean, this thing now capable of speeds well over 200 miles an hour. That bridge is no more. And just if in doubt, flat out Colin McRae style. Oh, sideways across the line. There we go, reverse entry. Oh, we're very close to the Horizon Hall of Fame as well, but yeah, the second trailblazer, though, not too far away. I guess it's good, obviously, like I said, that we're just trying to go through and complete more of the three stars that we need. No idea where this next one though is going to be heading, so we, we might be heading into this one completely the wrong direction. Let's just wait and see. Is it going to be? Nope, we've, we've gone the right way. Oh, it's really not that far away, this one. Just got to try and avoid the water. Or, or not, apparently. Oh! We'll, we'll go for some style points there. We'll, we'll see what we need for the three stars. It's going to be... Gonna, gonna require a lot better of a run than that did. Try and jump over the water. Can't put power down. 24 seconds left. That's gonna be another two stars, but how many more seconds did we need? Uh, 30 seconds left on the clock. That one is definitely doable. Just stay to the left of. Yeah, the, the left of the river. Right, let's try that again then. Cool. So we just left their raptor in the way. Uh -huh. Come. Don't turn it on me. Right, yeah, definitely want to be hitting this one a bit more like that. Yeah, just avoid the trees, avoid the river. This one should be 
be nice and easily doable. I must admit, yeah, Trailblazers were something I was a big, big fan of on the DLCs for Horizon 4. Loop the front end round. There we go, 32 seconds. Right, we're two down, two to go. That one is a lot more water-based as well. Uh, that one's a bit more road. Where does this one go? That one could be all right. Oh, we've got one in the town. No idea where that one's meant to finish. So this one, oh, that one should be good. That one's pretty much just all roads will go through the tunnel. And that one, yeah, should 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 be okay. Sweat sees we've got the train somewhere nearby. I mean, they can only really see you at the start and at the end. I can hear the train, but I can't see it anywhere. Is it going to go right over us? I think it might be. There it is. Yep, we went right under it. Right, like I said, we're going to head through the tunnel for this one. If we can stop the understeer. Oh, come on. Oh, it's not a straight tunnel. I thought it was a straight tunnel. Come on. Sounds trying to engage sweat mode now, I think. Getting towards the I mean this has been a big weekly Fortathon challenge, to be fair. Oh come on. Gotta avoid the water. This thing doesn't weigh enough to really sort of survive it. And trees. Oh, we've really gotta try and thread the needle a bit better than we're doing here. Come on. There we go. That was a lot well, better, I think. Not great. No, almost at the end. Oh, come on, Matt. Yeah, this thing is certainly a handful still. As we're just going to apparently keep barrel rolling off that rock. Just trying to keep the car planted, right? It's going to be the key. How much time can we have left on this one? It is quite a long one. Up towards the line. 22 left on the clock. That's only two stars again. How many two star runs are we going to get here? We need 25 seconds left on the clock. So we only needed to find about three seconds there. And there were quite a few mistakes on that one. But yeah, this thing is difficult to try and get hooked up. Completely more accolades though. We're 4,000 away on the Invitational. Baja bug. Oh, we've done it! Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, because the two star runs count, don't they? Obviously, you can do the you can do the same one over and over if you wanted to. So, well, there we go then. That is the weekly Fortathon completed here on Forza Horizon Five. Thank you all so much for watching this video as well. We have now got enough for a Koenigsegg Agera RS. Don't think I'm going to buy that though. I'm sure we'll unlock it at some point down the line. But yeah, we need to enter the Hall of Fame before we can unlock the Lamborghini Murcielago. But we will be back next time round unlocking the BMW X6M. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.